Hey. Um, whoops. So, uh, I sussed out, I think, 18 days exactly for Omori. And, um, well, that was episode 17 that we recorded. So, you know, oh my god, I just realized that those are red hands. Oh, like being caught red-handed. So yeah, um, I spaced out exactly 11 days, or 18 days for Omori in the schedule. And I was like, all right, it'll probably take 18 hours based on what I've seen. And I was like, okay, this one's going to be the last one for real. But I didn't expect there to be a long se uh, sequence in the real world. But maybe this will be the for real last one. But I hope so. There isn't any, there isn't any more room in my schedule. Um... Normally, I would have just uploaded it just because. But in my case, this is kind of peeling behind the curtain a little bit. But I've already done so, so may as well keep it going. Um, I don't have an editor. I make all of my own content. Uh, and a lot of my work is based like solely on the schedule that I put together. And so I have to try really hard to make sure that the schedule works out. Um, because I also try to upload every day. And so if I record two two-hour, or two one-hour videos and then put them out on the same day, when I could, you know, space them out. You know. Did the work for two hours. Or more, even. May as well get, like, two days of stuff out of it, you know? Um, and for those of you watching in, you know, the recap, watching this all marathoning it, uh, I basically said, okay, this is going to be the last episode about 50 times. Last episode. So, yeah. Um, as you can tell, based on the fact that you're now watching this. It wasn't. And if you're just joining us, go back. Watch the other ones. You're going to be so lost. It would be like you started Kingdom Hearts 2 without seeing Kingdom Hearts 1. A fool's errand. Oops. So presumably this will be like the true the true one, you know, the true photo album. Like, a more pure photo album experience than the other ones. Alright. The back end. Yes, I do. All right, first photo. Sonny trying out new violin. He's starting to take lessons so he can play at recitals and be just like his sister, Mari. My birthday today, I'm 12. I thought my friends forgot, but they surprised me with a strawberry cake. I feel so lucky. It's gonna be a good year. Sonny's not in this picture. Maybe he's taking it. But yeah, cause there's Aubrey Kell Basil, Mari, and Hero. Another group photo. 
little after I opened all my presents. Meyer bought me the photo album, and everyone else bought me film for the camera. Try my very best to use it all. Calby and Cal. So many party hats. Sunday playing Game Boy on the couch. A little shy, but a good listener. Yep. Um. I was like, oh, that's so cute. Oh, no. Oh, my heart. Oh. Martin Hero fell asleep on the couch. Looks so cozy together. <laughs> Hope they don't mind the photo. Mari's dad might be kind of mad if he saw it. Ooh. Hero and Mari doing dishes from breakfast. Staying over with Mari and Sunny this weekend. Getting warmer, so we're about to go to the park. Cal says there's a secret lake behind some bushes, so we're going to go check it out. Ooh. Yep. Book I've been reading. Is that a sweetheart pillow? <laughs> Alright. Already the last day of March. Having a picnic with Mari at the secret lake spot. Mari wanted to take a picture. Say cheese. After eating all the food, everyone fell asleep except for me, Hiro, and Mari. Something unfortunate happened when I was taking the photo. <clears throat> Thanks a lot, Hector. I'll cover up with tape later. Oh, he's pooping. <laughs> Caught Mari carrying Sunny on the way home from school today. Must have fallen asleep on the bus. I thought he was cute, so I got my camera out as quick as I could to snap a once-in-a-lifetime photo. Sometimes I wish I had a sibling. Okay, flower crowns, we've seen these. Favorite color is pink. Oh, yeah, and that's what she dyed her hair. Like how the rain tastes. Cal being Cal. Went to hobbies, but he had to leave the jacket outside. Wish I was as fearless as him. Popsicles, one of every flair. Sunny got lemon, Hero got root beer, Cal got orange. Oh, yeah, he likes orange. Arby right, got watermelon, and Mari got grape. Mine was banana. It tasted okay. All the shoes in a circle. Watermelon is Aubrey's favorite. Orange Joe. Sunny in the sand. Mari says she wants to get a summer tan. I'm scared to fall asleep in the sun since I get sunburned really easily. I'm not sure what Kel's doing here, but he's probably having a good time. Hero sleeping on Mari. Oh, they're so cute together. He's tired out from swimming. Seems like Mari won't be able to get her summer tan after all. <laughs> oh, wow. What are they doing in the background? About to head home, but I managed to catch one last photo with Mari and Hero. Match made in heaven. They look so happy. Sunny's birthday. Big old block set. You love your enabling friends, you know? Beetle catching. Sunny's there, too. He looks sleepy. Mari says this is a giant stag. Fell from the street and surprised everyone. Hero is grossed out too. Cal stole the camera. Uh, all of us in the brand new treehouse. Sonny's finally reading the book I showed him. I want to spend every day here, but it's a shame that summer vacation's almost over. I hope we get to use the treehouse more next summer. Oh, oh, it's the big yellow cat. That's why it looks over them. This room is the treehouse. This... This is where white space empties out to. It's the safe space. There's the bad, there's the watermelon, the plants. There's that awful thing of <laughs> sweetheart's face. It's the toaster. Captain Space Boyfriend. Went to Hobbies to read the latest edition of Captain Space Boyfriend. Everyone's so into it. What, I'm sure it's all anyone's going to be talking about when school starts. Playing cards with Kel, Hero, and Aubrey. Oh, and there's the cookies. So easy to read. They can't hide anything on their faces. Mari baked chocolate chip cookies from scratch. They were chocolate chip and super delicious like always. So I have the winning hand, but no one knows that yet. <laughs> Goodbye, Summer. Sunny giving Mari a big hug. Mari doesn't come home till late because she's taking extra classes to prepare for college. Me and Sunny have been hanging out a lot, but I'm... So, Mari started to leave Sunny alone more. And Sunny and Basil started to hang out more. 
Mario practicing for a big recital. Going to be Mario and Sunny's first performance together. Another do fine. Camera shy because she's made a small mistake. Don't worry, keep going. No one will ever notice. Some begging. Sunny came to join Mario for recital practice. Still working out some stuff, but they sound so amazing. I know they're going to be great. Go, Mario. Go, Sunny. You can do it. That's the last entry. <sighs> they never got to go to the recital. Fuck. It is so, so sad to look at happy Mari and happy Hiro together being cute. There. Everything's back where it should be. Looks like one photo is still missing, but the rest of them are back together. Now, doesn't that feel better? We really did have a lot of fun together, huh? Yeah. I guess we really did. I'm sorry, guys. I've been acting like such a jerk. Oh, it's okay. Let's have a big cry gang together. Sorry too, Aubrey. I haven't been treating you so great either. All right, apologies accepted. Now we can all be friends again. Who wants a hug? Come on, Hero, not now. You're so embarrassing. I'm good, thanks. <laughs> all you need to do now is check up on Basil. I'll be feeling better today. Aubrey, knowing everything I heard from Cal, I'm sure you know you need to apologize to him. Yeah, I know. Thanks, Aubrey. It's good to have you back. Let's get out of this house. Huh, okay. I knew it. I knew that we couldn't bun bun. Oh, that's why all the bunnies are called that. Her new friend. And or girlfriend. Side table being used to cover up a hole in the wall. Boy, ain't that the mood. I'll turn on this TV. I imagine they can't have too much money for the power bill. Yeah, we got trash. What the hell happened to her, man? Yo, Aubrey, you okay? Hey, Kim, I'm good. Thanks for bringing everyone here. Hey, guys, guys, Aubrey's here. Aubrey, you feeling any better? Saved a taffy for you. Happened in there, your face is all red. Do you need me to teach someone a lesson? Don't worry about me, guys. Sorry for ignoring you all earlier. No biggie. We're just glad you're all right. Right, Charlie? Yeah. Aubrey, Aubrey, let's go hang out at the park. I'm going to show you some new moves I came up with. I was practicing all night. <laughs> that sounds fun, but maybe later. I have some things I need to take care of first. We'll hang out tomorrow, I promise. Okay. We'll see you later, then. Don't keep us waiting too long. You know I won't, Kim. Be back before you know it. You know, when I was a kid, I had this master plan, assuming my parents ever needed to move, which they wouldn't. Oh, look at them all. Yeah. Oh, what you got? Nail bat and pinwheel. Yeah, let's get those. The pinwheel's nice. Maybe we can save it for a certain boy. Her old blue bike. Oh, let's go to Basil. No dicking around. I had this master plan of like, I'll just run away. And then they won't be able to move because I'll be gone. Or they'll move without me. That was my plan. If my parents would ever move when I was a kid. Hey, Polly. How's Basil doing? We were wondering if we could hang out to him today. Hello, everyone. Freddy's in home right now. He's in the hospital. What? What happened? That was totally a thing where, like, I read it and then I realized what I had said. Let me clarify. He's in the hospital visiting his grandma. She was rushed to, rushed to intensive care yesterday evening. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. Do you know when he'll be back? I'm not exactly sure. Maybe sometime in the afternoon. Sorry. Would you mind if we check back here later? We're really worried about him. I don't mind at all. Please come by to visit. I think he would appreciate having some friends over. Happy to know he has friends that care so much about him. Oh, it's nothing. Friends are supposed to be there for each other. Right, Aubrey? Yeah. Sure. Be back later. See ya, Polly. See ya. I guess we have to wait until he gets back. Anything you guys want to do until then? 
I'm okay just hanging out and doing whatever. Oh, I vote somewhere indoors. It is way too hot today. Maybe we can hang out at our house a little. I want to cool down. We can go see the treehouse. Oh, yeah, we should do that. Especially since Aubrey's with us, too. Old treehouse, huh? Haven't there in so long. Yeah, we haven't either. We wanted to go see it yesterday, but it's too dark outside. How about you, Sonny? What do you do want to do today? Your last day, so you call the shots. Oh, boy. Like, do you remember this place? This is just around the area where we met you, Aubrey. Yeah, what about it? I remember. You're crying on the sidewalk because you lost your shoe. Aww. Cute little Aubrey with a cute pink little bow. Remember like it was yesterday. Thought it was cute, huh? Is that why you're always picking on me? Where'd you get that idea? I never picked on you when you were kids. Huh, sure, Kel. Ah. <laughs> oh. You guys saw that, right? <laughs> like, dude, it's like over and over. Like, in, in the, the, the party is Omori, Cal, Aubrey, and Hero. That's the party, you know? Yes, I want to go to the treehouse. But when you get to the real world, the fellowship is broken, you know? Wow, I guess you are really moving away, huh, Sonny? When I see this empty house, it feels so sudden. But for you, moving away must have been a long time coming. I hope you can find some peace out there. Or, you know, happiness. God. All of my really, like, traumatic friend... Well, I guess I really... I have not had very traumatic friend breakups. There have been a lot of things that are unsaid these past few years, and painful memories we kept to ourselves. But even through all that, I'm relieved we were able to become friends again. I'm happy we're all here, so we can face this together. It's okay, Hero. I'll go first. <sighs> Dude. Hey, Sonny. When you move away, do you think it'd be too much trouble if you could... Aubrey, Sonny, you guys coming? Actually, never mind. I will call you. My hands are off the keyboard. I'm not doing that. Sonny's doing it because he wants to. You know what? I believe in him. If the rest of this game is just a movie, I, I am cool with that. Toys long forgotten. Discolored by weather. It's the stump. This is where Mari... That was the... That was the thing that the dad was cutting down. It is. It feels like forever ago. But I can still remember that day perfectly. Man, that day was really busy. In the morning I went out with mom to buy some nice clothes and shoes. We spent all day shopping, didn't get home till the afternoon. I remember that day too. I went out to get a haircut with Dad. Oh yeah, you were there with your dad too, Aubrey. We were preparing for something, weren't we? The recital. Yeah, we were. We were going to watch Mari and Sonny's music recital. It was supposed to be that night, but when we came home in the evening... <sighs> Even after all this time, I still don't understand why she would do it. I don't think any of us ever will. Hey guys, let's... Let's keep going. Oh, poor hero... There's not a single character in this cast who does not deserve a big old hug. Unless foul play is at hand here. So I assume that I accidentally skipped most of the plot by just going straight home. <laughs> like, I probably could have gone to hobbies with everyone. Oh, man. Yep. This is the room. This is... The... What is it called? The little neighborhood room. This place has seen better days, but it looks like everything is right where we left it. All of our old stuff is still here. 
Here's our playing cards. I was the best at card games, wasn't I, guys? Mr. Plantag. Oh, you're so dirty. The first quest you get in this game is that Aubrey has lost Mr. Plantag and she needs Omori to go and get it because Kel hid him. And here it is come back around like a boomerang to the back of my skull. <laughs> she has found Mr. Plantag again. <laughs> all these old books. This is where all my cookbooks went. Ah, I think he just stepped on a jack. Oh man, such a good time. Dude, jacks? Those things are fucking caltrops. You put those down if you want someone to stop chasing you. Why do we have a toaster in here? Was there any power? Like, I I, I guess you could get a battery-powered TV. Well, TV. Cal brought it up, but he was pretty bummed when we found he couldn't use it. Plants are made from paper. I'll bring Basil made these. Baseball bat? Used to play softball, but quit when she injured her knee. Does that have something to do with it? So Mari used to be a big old sports person. Cal's old shoes. He forgot his stuff at your house frequently. Yo-Yo, you only knew how to walk the dog. Calendar. Data recital is passed. Yeah, so Mari hurt her knee. Here's cookbooks. Mari bought them for his birthday. Mari hurt her knee and couldn't play softball, and so started to become a real... <sighs> Don't forget, it's in the toy box. Hey, look, Sonny found a photo of us. We all look so happy. Wasn't there a photo missing from the album? That must be it. Hey, you're right, Kel. Check out the album. Let's add it in. Haven't we seen Don't Forget It's in the Toy Box before? Now it's complete again. Now this is probably the last time we'll all be to here together in the treehouse. Now the photo album is complete. We should look through it one last time. It's already out, so we might as well start from the beginning. I mean, I did just look at it. I want to. I want to see the last photo, the the new one. Oh, God. Ta-da! All summer we've been working on Treehouse in Sunny's backyard. Today it's finished. Hero and his dad did most of the work, but Aubrey and I made paper plants to put in the windowsill. We all did a pretty good job, if I do say so myself. her so much I I miss her too come on guys why the long faces put all of us back together again Mari would be she would be so happy for us I am barely holding it together I know I have held up my fingers to show how close I am to something but I am this close to crying wait are your fingers touching yeah you're right she would be if only Basil could be here too Let's go get his ass. Hey, Aubrey, what's up? Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm cool.
You know, after everyone drifted apart, I felt so alone. But now I realize I was the one who was pushing everyone away. In the few months after Amari died, everything changed so fast. Sonny and Basil became more closed off. Kelly had a bunch of friends playing sports. Hero seemed to be busy studying. I was so angry at how kept life kept moving on. I felt like everyone abandoned me and abandoned Mari too. But I couldn't see that everyone was dealing with the pain in their own way. After Sonny stopped coming to school, I saw Basil sitting alone during lunch, so I asked him if he wanted to study together at his house. He seemed uneasy at first, but after I begged him, he agreed. The walk there was really quiet. He wouldn't even look at me. We got to his room, I tried to talk to him, but he said he had to go to the bathroom and ran off. That's when I spotted his old photo album on the bookshelf. I just wanted to go through the photos because I wanted to see everyone happy again. But when I opened it, Basil had blacked out all the photographs with marker. I couldn't believe it. He had even blacked out Mari's face. All of our memories together felt like he destroyed them. I was so confused and angry, I thought he was a nutcase. So instead of trying to understand him, I stole his photo album and started calling him Creep and things like that. And eventually I wasn't the only one calling him names. I feel like scum for that now. But you know what? Ever since then, all I've been trying to do is cut myself off from everyone. It's kind of funny. What I've been doing is worse than what Basil did, yet I'm the one angry at him. I'm such an idiot. Don't back away, you coward. Get back in there. It's okay, Aubrey. We've all made mistakes. At that time, I didn't really understand what was happening. I was afraid I'd somehow make things worse, so I decided to stay out of all of it. I'm sorry, Aubrey. And I'm sorry to you too, Sonny. I was a pretty crappy friend. You were still pretty young then, Kel, but I'm the oldest, so I should have known to take care of everyone. I just... No, it's fine. Everyone's here now, so it's okay. I don't... I don't deserve friends like you. Don't be silly, Aubrey. Of course you do. During all this time, it's pretty obvious you still cared about us. I mean, just look at the photos in the album. There's no place... <clears throat> There's no trace of any of the black marks you were talking about anywhere. You can see all the faces just fine. I don't suppose they cleaned themselves, did they? It's all right, Aubrey. Promise from now on, I'll always be there for you. Yeah, I promise too. We should all be here for each other. Hey, you know what? I think this is the perfect time for a big group hug. Group hug? Oh yeah, get me in. Wait, just one second. Ready or not, here we come. Yeah, get him in there. You have to, otherwise he won't do it. <laughs> yeah, squish them together. Just mash them. That's how shipping works. We should go see if Basil's back home later today. I need to apologize to him, and I think right now he's probably the one that needs us the most. I mean, yeah, the Fellowship's back together, so like... Fuck, man. <sighs> I am not okay. Let's save the new file. Oh god. Sweet Jesus, man. Ah. <sighs> oh, hey, we can sprint. Right. Um Ghost of Basil's grandma? So this is your new hangout spot with your your hangout spot with your new friends, huh? Yeah, so what? Yeah, nothing really. Can't blame you. It is a pretty cool place. Life's a little murkier now, but I remember we used to swim here all the time. It looks the same as it always did. You just had lower standards. <laughs> maybe so, maybe so. Why do you stop swimming here again? You don't remember? Mari stopped wanting to come here after the time Sunny almost drowned. Oh man, I forgot about that. Oh! Were all of, um... Were all of Sunny's fears formed on the same day? Like drowning, spiders, heights... 
Kel and I used to do tricks jumping off the statue, but when we asked Sunny to try it, he froze up and fell into the lake. Do you remember, Sunny? It all happened so fast. Even though we were already in the water, it wasn't us who saved you. No, it was Mari. She dived in before we could even react. I'll never forget the moment she carried you out of the lake. When you finally fell, opened your eyes, she fell on top of you and burst into tears. I'd never seen her that way before. Mari really loved you, Sonny. You know that, don't you? Oh, man. <sighs> hey, Aubrey. What do you want, Kel? I've been thinking. We get into fights all the time, huh? Yeah, we do. But even after everything, we're still friends, right? Yeah. I guess we are. Isn't that weird? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you two. This means you two are really comfortable around each other. I'm a little jealous you two could be so candid after all this time. I think that's something special. Really? I was just about to say I find it kind of annoying. <laughs> ah, you're such an idiot. I need fluids. <sighs> you gotta stay hydrated when you cry, otherwise you'll turn yourself into a raisin. My thoughts will follow you into your dreams. Pale and shovel. Oh, this is the dock. This is the beach. Seashell. Nice. So, Basil's thoughts will follow you, Sunny, into your dreams. Into Omori. So, Omori was written on top of the piano. I kind of assumed at the time that it was the like name of the piano... But I guess it would make more sense if it was the song that they were going to play together at the recital. Been a long time since I've seen all you hanging out. Reminds me when you were all still children. Nothing like Mari's. Hello, boys. Good to see you're finally sp spending some quality time with me. Stay for a while. Having the best weather today. Abu. Sally, pull it on your nose. Trash. Hector. Bark, 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 bark. Good boy is I. A coin. Yo, I got changed today. I got paid in a dollar coin. Um, anyway, I got changed today. I was, uh, my wife wanted me to work up in the news station, but sometimes try to find a way to park during my break. Really relaxing about this place. We have a vending machine in our lounge. Um, my wife asked me to head up there and get her some chocolate. I did. Uh, I got changed back. Gave me a dollar coin. It's kind of rad. <gasps> oh, they share the swings together. Hey, Sonny. Sorry I was so mean to you before. I think seeing you caught me by surprise, though I guess it's a pretty crappy excuse. I hope you've been doing okay and stuff. I'm sure everything was really hard for you to deal with. Sometimes I think I was the one that should have been there for you. I don't know if we'll really ever get over Mari's death, but it's okay to take it slow. To allow yourself to feel every emotion and have patience. Anyway, I just want you to know I still care about you and stuff. I've been thinking about this since I saw you, but I think you're looking a little pale and kind of thin. After you move, promise me you'll go outside more, okay? Oh, man. Oh, he does the swings a little. There's a neat trick that you can do um, when one has a silent protagonist. Thank you. Um, when you have a silent protagonist in a game, especially an RPG... Um, First spot where I met my crush. Hope he comes by soon. Oh, let's go to hobbies together. But where, um, 
like the protagonist does really dumb things completely silently. Like the way that Joker spins a pen in Persona 5, even though he never actually says a word properly, is so indicative to his character, you know? Gang's all here. Captain Space Boy. Skateboarding. Yeah, let's do a gacha palm. <gasps> it's Yellow Cat! Ah, the guardian of reality. Yo, champs. Shouldn't buy off my last pet rock? Go for 25, but you seem like the right guy, so let go for 10 bucks. What do you say? Sorry. It's calling your name. I can feel it. No thanks. Yes, I do. Man. That feel when you'll never share a swing set with your childhood crush. This is why people write anime, isn't it? Because <laughs> they never, like, had a swing set that they shared with their childhood best friend of the opposite sex. And then they want to go back there as an adult. Ah. Hell yeah, I guess. Playing cards. Super inexpensive trading cards. I want to complete my collection. I only have five bucks. Sucks to be a kid. That's a fresh $20 bill in my butt pocket. It's been my lucky day. <laughs> I can afford at least one super rare card today. Hell yeah. Oh, man. Like, something that kills me here is that there's an empty seat for Basil and Mari. Ugh. I've had a lump in my throat for the past 20 or so minutes. Alright, I kind of get the feeling I'm not going to get too much done at the market. Can't run inside, huh? Right, let's head on to the let's let's look at the hardware store. And then let's run to Basil's house. I'm pretty sure I'm lost, both in body and in spirit. That guy's name is Stranger. I assume not related to the monster known as Stranger that may or may not be Basil or Demon or Sadness personified. Or that story I read where your hand comes alive at night and forcibly masturbates you. It's true. I did that last year for Halloween. Look it up. Thank goodness you guys came back. Is something wrong? Yeah, no kidding. Well, he's back home, but he's not talking to me. Oh, no. Anything we can do to help? Hard to say right now. When he came back, he went straight to his room and locked the door. I've been able to get a word out of him since. Maybe he just needs some time alone, but I don't know. I'm just worried. Of course. We'll do whatever we can to help. Thank you, everyone. Come in when you're ready. I'm ready now, man. Let's go. I just noticed that Sunny's level one. <laughs> awesome. She said that line already. Hi, Basil. It's Hero. I'm here with Kel, Aubrey, and Sunny. We're all here to see you. Is there anything we can do to help? We just wanted to let you know that we're here. Let us know if you need anything, okay? Maybe he just needs some time to himself. I'm sorry to bother you. Don't worry about it, Apollo. We've been there before. If we've learned anything these past few days, friends should be there for each other. Let's kick it in. Hey, Basil, this is Aubrey. 
I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for the way I've been treating you. Will you please say something? We just want to know you're okay. I think we should stay here for him. Yeah. Last time, we all made the mistake of leaving each other when we needed each other the most. This time, we'll stay together. Polly, do you think we can sleep here for the night? Oh, you're all so kind. Of course you can stay over. I think he'd appreciate that. I know it would mean a lot to him. Awesome. I call the couch. Oh, it's all happening so fast. Uh, since Kel wants the couch, everyone else can have a quilt. We have a lot of those. Well, you got a grandma living here, you know? <laughs> Why do you get the couch? Well, duh. It's because I called it. Ow, that hurt. Regular old Sunny. Basil, why can't you see everyone's here for you? What a plant. No, not yet. Right, whoops. I forgot they don't have a two-story. Yes, I want to hang out with my friends. Oh, man, this is so weird. Like, imagine staying over at your friend's house without the friend in question there. But, like... You got the whole deal, you know? You got the couch, you got chips, you got cookies. Watching cartoons or a movie that your mom wouldn't let you watch. Just move in, make yourself at home, you know? <laughs> Hey, Sonny, I know this probably wasn't the last night in town you were expecting, but I want you to know even though you're moving away tomorrow, we'll always be friends. Ah, it's so cheesy, Hero. I'm just saying what I'm thinking. <laughs> Hero's always been such a big softie. Just like you, Aubrey. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> it's nice to hang out like this again. I've been so busy with school and studying, I don't have time to make friends anymore. Bro, that's the mood. I've already talked in this LP about how I've become estranged from so many of my friends. I have become estranged from more friends than I have. Like, over half of the friends that I have made, I have become estranged from. Probably over, like, 80%, in fact. Well, you always have us, I guess. See, I was right. Look, who's the softie now. A <laughs> rump. But yeah, it's true. I know we'll always be there for each other. It's like I know that Mari's still here with us, too. You know, I hope we'll be able to see Basil before you leave tomorrow, Sonny. It'd be nice to have a proper goodbye. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm getting sleepy. Now let's stealth away to Basil's room. What the? Is he asleep already? <laughs> Yep, it's Kel for you. That part of him has not changed a bit. Hey, Sonny. Thank you for everything. It's probably been tough to leave your house after all this time, but I really appreciate you doing it for us. Tomorrow's the big day. The last time tomorrow was the big day, um... Not good things happen. Hope you're not too worried. If anything, you got us. Life gets better. Just gotta stay positive. Life gets better. Hey, Sonny. After you move away, you should, like, maybe come visit once in a while or something. Yeah, we can all go out for sandwiches. Or go to the park, or the beach, or just sit home and watch TV. Who knows? We can do anything. That's the move. Um, my, uh, my wife's sister was recently in town to visit. And, like, yeah, we went out, we hit the town, we went to a, uh, where were we at? We were at, like, Korean barbecue. 
and like we went to like a, a cool vintage indie bookstore that we uh, enjoy in town, among other things. But um, my favorite part of it was probably sitting on my ass at home watching David Lynch's Dune with her. Because, like... <laughs> whew. That's so the movie to watch. That's that's such a good movie to watch when, like, adult supervision has been lifted. <laughs> Sounds kind of nice. Do you think my new friends can come, too? Of course you can, Aubrey. You don't have to ask. More the merry, after all. Come on, guys. It's time to sleep already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Aubrey's cute, man. Almost as cute as Kel. Kel's got that, like, dork cute, though, you know? Good night, Kel. Good night, Aubrey. Good night, Sonny. See you in the morning. Okay, now let's stealth away. <laughs> Look at that supreme dork. That day before the recital, when he was getting his haircut with his dad, that was the last haircut he ever got. So he was like, what, 24? He can't be that. Or 22. If he like fast-tracked his way through college. Mari was like, what, 15 or 16 when Omori was 12. And Omori's the youngest. Don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. Okay. Basil and black space. Will you forgive me? The way that Basil is pleading and begging for forgiveness makes me think that he has to be implicit with Mari's death somehow. My best friend. Please. He's laying on the floor of white space, but he's sunny, not Omori. In fact, he's been sunny more and more, and Omori less and less. And yeah, now he's full on sunny in white space. <laughs> Final boss fight? <laughs> I don't need you anymore. None but static. All blank except for the decapitated head. A tissue box. Not for wiping your sorrows away. So yeah. Omori must be the grief that Sunny has. But Sunny's getting over it now. He doesn't need Omori anymore. Oh my god. Is Omori bad coping mechanisms? Is that what Omori is? And now they aren't needed anymore. <gasps> Destroying the black bulb. Destroying the blocking and repression of ideas. That's what Omori is. He's trauma. He's the past. He's not letting go. He's not accepting things. Spike that shit into the end zone, my man. Yes. Yes. So... Omori got reset back to white space because Sunny went to bed. That's normally how it works. But last time we saw Omori, he was sitting on the throne of red hands. You know? It isn't so scary now. Can I run? Nope. <sighs> 
something taunts Sonny as he falls. You don't need this anymore, man. It doesn't matter. So Omori is like the avatar of white space. And then I assume something and the various permutations like the deer and the big smile thing are like the avatar of black space, I guess. So if we're going with a theory that Omori is like literally a separate entity from Sunny, like Omori is essentially his own person living inside Sunny's head. Um, bump the microphone, sorry. Then that means that the line, something is trying to talk to you. Oh, I just noticed that that hair kind of looks like Mari's. Anyway, working with the idea that Omori is his own thing, then saying you have lived here for as long as you remember is actually an accurate statement. Still nothing, huh? Maybe I should just calm down all the way through. Like, maybe this is... Maybe not like a supposed-to-lose fight. Did I just hear what I thought I heard? I thought I heard the little piano ting that plays in the intro. Okay. We get in the water one. Yep. That little thing that plays in the intro, I just realized it's on the piano. That piece is probably... Assuming that the song is called Omori, the piece in the intro is Omori. It's the song. It's... It's what Sonny wanted to hear. It's kind of my assumption that Sonny, even if he was involved with Mari's death, did not want Mari to die. <gasps> That's what's swaying in the wind. You feel like your life is in danger. Good. Persistence. Oh, my tattoo's crackling, man. Oofa. Your lungs tighten up. Don't scare me, man. Heartbeats out of your chest. Fingers won't stop trembling. Imagine living inside someone else's head as their construct, as their way of avoiding the real world and all that you do know is white space you feel your breathing begin to steady the heel keeps going up yeah we keep hanging on with more and more you hear your heart begin to steady we're back up to normal Gather all your courage and learn to overcome. Gather your courage. You know, it does take courage to overcome trauma.
the light bulb idea. Are we going to screw it in and put regular ideas into white space? Probably meant to head the way that the camera's pointing. That's the tree branch, isn't it? Tree behind Sonny's house. This is the tree. Mari's picnic basket. Wait, what is this? Basil's Meadow. Sonny, you're finally here. I've always dreamed you'd come back for me, but maybe it's too late. Never too late, man. The truth of that day will be hard to accept. When you see it, you have to stay strong. And if you can, please forgive me. The tree stump. Oh god. Okay, I thought it crashed for a second. Luckily we had just saved, so it's fine. Not yet. My only daughter is gone, and you are my only son. I can't lose you as well. So mommy totally receded into a, you know, a freak out when her daughter died, as you would. She's gone. Your red glow radiates. You are strangely drawn to it. There's the photo. Oh, and that's the, um, sorry, one of my ears just started ringing. Oh. Sunny next to a bed. Three kids and one toast. Four kids talking to a giant statue. Four kids playing in the forest. <laughs> this is the... That's the puzzle that we did. Three kids and one toast. That was when one of us was KO'd. Climbing a ladder to space. Five kids having a picnic. The gang and Mari. So this must be this big puzzle we had to do with Sweetheart. And the other ones could be anywhere. Person's breathing steadily. This person breathing steadily. And riding a minecart. Four kids on an elevator. Talking to a whale. That whale is awful, man. I wonder what he's symbolic of. Uh. Persons. Are those things all Mari? Or are they all somethings? The old depression sprites. Sunny next to the bed. Yeah, they're fading out. The person in the bed is no longer breathing steadily. This person is not breathing. <laughs> 
It's the staircase. Was Mari at the bottom? She fell down the staircase. I thought she had been hanged. Sunny going down the stairs. Mari at the bottom. <gasps> Sunny in bed in his PJs, dressed as a Mori. Are we getting more and more covered in blood? Sonny, don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. This person is not breathing. That's Mari. Today's the day of the recital. This was today. If she got pushed down the stairs... Like... If she had just fallen... Then how did she get hung? If she was pushed, did Sonny hang her to frame her? To frame it as a suicide? Something's preventing you from getting closer. Oh, it's the tentacles. The tendrils. It's the hands. Basil and Mari at Sonny's bedside. Basil and... Er, uh, uh, Sonny and Mari shared a bedroom. That's right. I think that's Mari. All the fingers. They picked up Mari. Yeah, those are all the fingers. Like before. We're in black space now. A smashed violin. Mari and Sonny. Did he push her? Yeah. Looks that way. Nope. <sighs> That's what Mari was talking about. When she was like, did I push you too hard? We're here again. Do you want to screw in the light bulb? Mari pushed Sonny too hard. They had a little disagreement. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, we're, um, this is, this is what Omori sees when he looks into the mirror that one time. Well, luckily we've still got our slinky. Photo album. Yeah, this is what Omori sees when we, when you get the mirror Easter egg. But yeah, Mari was talking about, like, how she pushed Sunny too hard. Too much. They must have just had just, like, a little disagreement. And, well, they're not called freak accidents because they happen every day in every incident. They're freak for a reason.
But yeah, this is like textbook freak accident. But also I've realized that this means that when Basil got pushed into the lake by accident, it's the same thing. Mari wasn't, you know, hurting Omori. She just made him a little mad and he was just a kid. And, you know, he pushed her and she... Def it's not that he pushed her down the stairs. You know, because he didn't push her down the stairs. He just pushed her. The issue is that she fell down the stairs right afterwards. And you might think that's a very strange... Um, argument piece but I feel like that's what the case is you know like oh god okay jump rope next to the tree after she fell out of the tree after they were looking at the tree they framed her they framed it as a suicide. That's why no one knows why Mari would have killed herself. Because she never would have. And because she didn't. Oh my god. But yeah, like earlier in the game... In addition to, like, a we like it's a really weird case of Sunny, or maybe even Omori, pushing Mari, and she falls down the stairs. Not... Fuck, man. Not that he pushed her down the stairs. She got pushed and then fell down the stairs. Just as with earlier, Aubrey didn't push Basil into the lake... She pushed Basil, and he fell into the lake. Which means that Basil will probably be pretty understanding relating to that incident, considering how he appears to be implicated in this one. The toy chest. The last picture has the key on the back, and it says it's in the toy chest. Don't forget that it's in the toy chest. Holy shit, man. What's in the toy chest? <sighs> At risk of threatening the gravitas of that scene, of this scene... By quoting Jester from Devil May Cry 3. That is what the something is. Something. The depression sprite. Is the silhouette of Mari hanging from the tree. It's been that this whole time. That is what the something is. Okay. Oh, they had a fight and he threw the violin down the stairs. And he pushed her and she fell. And then I guess broke her neck. He climbed down the stairs to check. They tried to... Both of them. That's not a smile, right? That's just because his face is curved. Both of them tried to get her in bed. He cried at her bedside. This person is not breathing. That's what it means. This person is not breathing. And Basil was there too. Sonny was freaking out. Mari's dead. Basil grabs a hold of him. The two of them take Mari to the tree. 
the tree, the branch, the jump rope. They tie it into a noose. This is in first person. Basil is taking these pictures. Was this all his idea? And they hung her. <gasps> to frame her for her own death. Is that better? For it to be an open and shut case and be like, yep, suicide from a totally normal girl as opposed to... Oh, oh, we can go to Basil's room. Yes, I do want to save Basil. Hey, man, we've done an awful thing. So has Sonny known this whole time and he's just been allowing Omori to hide it from him? Or has... Has Sonny, like, known and just been pretending that he doesn't? Or... Did he repress his own memories? Because, man, if you've done a horrible thing, that can happen. Shit, I have repressed memories. Which is to say they are memories that are no longer repressed. Formerly repressed memories. Oh, that'd be an awesome album name. Sorry. I really gotta get tested for ADD. Sonny, it's just you. I'm glad you came. It's, it's so good to see you. It came to you that day. The day Mari died. When Mari, when Mari fell, you, you couldn't have done it. It was something behind you, wasn't it? You're a good person, Sonny. I know you're a good person. A good person wouldn't do something like that. After all this time, you finally come back for me. But tomorrow, you're going away. How could you do that? That's mean, Sonny. That's so mean. You know, I wondered what their bond was earlier in the game, and uh, now I see. There's something all around us now. Can you see it, Sonny? There's no way out of this, is there? He's had his own something. Separate to Sonny's. Basil's been going through his own, like, Silent Hill hell. Oh my god, okay. Minor spoilers for Silent Hill 2. There's a really cool line where you... All through Silent Hill, you're going through a nightmare world that is all dilapidated and rusty and water... Watery. You know, it's drowned. And then you go into one that's all on fire at all times. And you're like, huh, that's kind of a weird shift in tone. And then you meet another woman. And you ask her, what's up with the fire... And she's like, oh, for me, it's always like this. And, you know, you've, you've bumbled into her Silent Hill. And that's kind of it, you know? Like, we're both dealing with our own personal hells. Where are you going? Stop trying to leave me. Stop it, stop it, stop it. I don't want to. If Sonny does, that's up to him. But, like, if, I've, if I can push these arrow keys, I don't want to be alone. Not again. You can't leave me again. No, you wouldn't leave me. That's not like you, Sonny. It's something behind you again, isn't it? There it is now. Do you see it? Stay away. Stay away from Sonny. I'll protect you no matter what, Sonny. You can count on me. When something killed Mari, when something ruined all my photos... The Black Scribbles... That's what scribble is. That's what the black marks in the in the in black space were. That's what black space is. I didn't say anything. I didn't want people to think it was you, Sonny. Sonny, Sonny wouldn't do something like that. God, is the gravitas of this scene just annihilated if you name yourself penis or something? It's five letters, right? Don't worry, Sonny. I'll save you again. Something behind you. I'll get rid of it once and for all. Stance up. Let's have a boss fight. Sonny, don't be scared. I'm scared too, but this is for the best. Everything's going to be okay. Everything. Are you trying to rope me into a murder-suicide, man? Everything is going to be okay. Oh my god.
you know, I had good money on Mari being the last boss until that became unfeasible. Your lungs fought to breathe. Basil's eyes are red from crying. You want to run. Not a chance. You try to focus, but nausea overwhelmed you. Basil reaches inside Sunny. Take three damage. Sunny? There's no way out of this, is there? Oh my god, we have the... We have this thing filling up, but normally this is... Couldn't hold steady. Normally this is for... You want to run. This is for tag teaming friends stuff. Tell me, Sonny. Am I selfish for doing this? Sunny attacks Basil. You want to run. Hey, fuck, man. Sunny. Do you hate me? Is it a good idea to run? I'll keep going unless I'm going to die. Please, stop it. I mean, like, are we attacking Basil now? Like, I mean, I know it says Sunny attacked Basil. Hmm. I see. Oh my god, the first boss fight of this game was Basil, trapped by a character known as Boss. And they were just a big bully. I'm so tired. You want to run? We've we've hit ten. That's normally the point where we could focus our energy. Do like a big team up hyper team. Hmm. Oh man, he's getting that crazy anime eyes. Everything is going to be okay. Stressed out. Insert your own 21 Pilots jokes here. Ooh, got the knife stab noise. I've got to get a sip, I'm sorry. My throat has been hurting for so long. It's like your first Pokemon fight. We might win this uh, HP race, though. Why? Why won't you stop? Oh my god. His eye. That's why the screen's like that. Because our eye's been stabbed out. Yo. That's... It's a little funny. Mostly not, though. This must be that day. Hey, this is the first time we've been allowed in the street. 
It's Miwo. Mibo was just a kitten when Mari was alive. Hi, Sonny. You found your way back home. I don't know if I've ever said this properly, but I'm sorry for causing you so much trouble. When I gave you my photo album, I really did want you to have it. But somehow, whenever I try to help, I always end up burdening you instead. Even back then. Oh, uh, yeah. All this pain we've been feeling. The guilt in our hearts. If you try to bottle it all up, it all comes out somehow. I want to say that everything will be okay. That we have no choice but to carry on. But that's up to you. Aubrey, Kel, and Hugh are good friends. You have to trust they'll forgive us. It's hard to truly believe that, but the photos in our album, they're not just photos. They're real memories. Our memories. Proof of our friendship. Hold those pictures close and remember what you want to protect. <sighs> I'm sorry. It looks like I'm burdening you again. The path to your future will open soon, but only you can decide what to do in the end. It's not much, but I'll be cheering you on. Like at the recital. Aw, good hug. They, Basil broke that. I did not push a button. Let's make some new memories together, okay? It doesn't end here, right? Okay. Cal must have forgotten to take them home again. Oh, the faces that were all scratched out. They were scratched out like the photos in the album. Like Black Space. All right. Baskets of baby toys. I haven't gotten around to throwing them away yet. Mari's clothes. They smell like clean laundry. Mari's bed. And mine too when I had nightmares. A very comfortable bed. It used to be Mari's, but she switched with me when I noticed I had trouble sleeping. That's why he has such a big deal. A wardrobe bent for clothing, but these days it's mostly full of old toys and candy. Table lamp. Mari has trouble sleeping, so she reads books before bed. I often turn off this light for her after she falls asleep. A phone that mom made me put in my room. Behind is a detailed schedule. Mari always has everything planned out. Dad's old computer. He gave it to us when he bought himself a brand new laptop for work. Mine and Mari's school book. Mari's been coming home late because of cram school. She must be tired. Oh god, she was tired because of cram school. Dirty laundry. Mari always asked to fold laundry with me. Little plants. Supposed to make the bathroom smell better? I'm not sure if they work. Toilet. Reliable. Toiletries. Everyone's supposed to have their own section, but no one can tell by looking. Normal load sunny. Bathtub. I don't have much enough opinion on baths. Regular house plant. Nothing special. Porcelain vases. Used to be more, but I broke one of them. Why not take the blame, though? Big plants to decorate the hallway. I don't care for them much. One of two old grandfather clocks. This one seems to be running behind. Table that probably came with the house. Mom and dad's bed. Mom sleeps on the left and dad on the right. An alarm clock for responsible people. It's set to be five minutes early. Wardrobe. I'm not allowed to look in here. Books mom and dad and collect over the years. All they do is gather dust. Personal house phone. Used to be in mom and dad's room, but not anymore. Table lamp. Mom bought this one on sale. I remember specifically because she made me go with her on a Sunday. 
Isn't that the mood? <laughs> Sunny, it's almost time. You've been through a lot these past few days. Yeah, me too, Sonny. You must be tired. We all make mistakes. You've been running from this one for a long time. It's tough to own up to them sometimes, but you'll forgive yourself, won't you? You can do this, Sonny. You've worked really hard to get to this point. There's only one thing left to do now. I'll always be watching over you, okay? As long as you remember me, I'll be here. You can do this. Good kitty. Running ahead. Sheet music books. Despite Mari being organized everywhere else, these music books are a mess. There's hastily written notes on almost every page. Vacation souvenirs. I never liked vacation, but looking back, it wasn't so bad. It's the most emotional I think I have ever been on the channel. The toy box. And the light bulb is above it. What could possibly be in here? I should have known. You got a violin. Strands of long black hair are entangled with its strings. You got sheet music. The paper is torn and wrinkled by blood, but it can still be read. Open toy box. Of course. Grand piano. So Mori is etched on the piano. So maybe it is the piano's name. Shoe rack. Mom's shoes are a mess as usual. game is painful and difficult but that doesn't make it a bad thing getting through it is good bed's bonsai grown a lot since I last saw it Big couch. Perfect for falling asleep. I can never seem to sit through a whole movie. Dad gets mad when it goes missing, even when it's usually stuck in the couch. Mom and Mari have been taking flower classes recently. Sometimes they drag me along. Mewa likes to hide in there. I can safely say that this was worth the wait. This Kickstarter game? Yeah, man. 
I got just what I needed. Uh oh, my hand doesn't look so good. You can't just tell people that. You have to keep a good poker face. Ah, when did you get behind me, Mari? I just got here, silly. Here, I brought cookies for everyone. Oh, that's the photo op. Basil, are you taking a photo? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Don't take a photo when I'm struggling like this. Oh, don't be so dramatic, Cal. It's just a card game. <laughs> huh? Another photo? And what's so funny, anyway? Something you're not telling us, Basil? Don't worry about it. You'll find out soon enough. That was the photo of his hand that he took. He had, like, Jack-10 or something. Or Jack-Ace. It's a four, a six, and a six. Don't look, Sonny. It's, it's too horrible. Ugh, I'm gonna lose. Ace and an ace. Tough luck as usual. Marsh cookies are the best, huh, Sonny? Oh, Hero, don't be so humble. Your cookies are way better than mine. That's subjective. Mari's cookies they have much more love baked into them. I could eat them forever. Stop it. You're embarrassing me. King, queen, and an ace. <laughs> Talk about luck, huh? Two, a five, and a ten. What do you think? What should I do? Decisions, decisions. Mr. Plant Egg. Toys. Possibilities are endless. Kel shoes. An old toaster. It does not make toast. Stuffed toy of a girl with pink hair. So is there a relation between Sweetheart in the real world, Sweetheart in Headspace, and future Aubrey in the real world? Basil's hand. Jack and an ace. Shh, don't tell anyone. Summer so vacation is almost over. Are you sure you want to go? I'm not sure, in fact. It's so nice to spend our last days of summer here. We should do this every year. Have a cookie. Perfectly crisp and sweet and gooey on the inside. Oh man, that's so the move, you know? I'm not sure, but I will go. You remember the smell of freshly baked cookies. It smelled better knowing that Mari made it from scratch. They do taste better. The violin meant a part of itself. Oh, these are these are light bulbs. They're ideas, they're memories. Okay. I'm glad that I split this from the other episode. And there, watermelon's all cut up. Go ahead, everyone, take a slice. Yay, thank you, Hero. Look at you, such a big, strong man. Oh, not now, Mori. <laughs> Woohoo! That means a nice, juicy watermelon on a hot summer day. Nom, nom, nom. Regular munch. Don't take a picture of me while I'm eating, Basil. Sorry, Aubrey. Thought you looked cute. I'll show you when it's ready. Well, okay, fine. I trust you. Tote bag. Small, but he likes it. That's the move. Want to see the photo? Yep, there it is. She's so cute, isn't she? Blech. Ew, gross. Stop sending seeds on me, Cal. Haha, <laughs> you have seeds in your face. How about this, then? <laughs> yeah. Stop it, Aubrey. You're going to give me cooties. <laughs> you too, man. Cuties. Ordinary sandcastle. Oh god. They don't play here, they're teasing each other. Remember how we were when we were younger? I used to hide bugs in your desk all the time just to see your reaction. You were always so funny. That was you? Oh, oops. Mind trouble now. <laughs> Guys, come on, we're at the beach. We're supposed to be relaxing. Hero's beach bag. It matches Mari's. Mari's beach bag matches Hero's. Arby's pouch. It fits her perfectly. It also looks like a watermelon. Or a... Uh, <laughs> fully eaten watermelon. Delicious. It looks like an eggplant. No shoes. Walking with sand? Walking on sand with shoes is the worst. Kale's backpack. Too big. 
my plastic bag. It's functional. You silly boy. Marty's picnic basket. Memory lane, huh? Beach chair? I guess we are very literally on a lane of memories. You remember the taste of watermelon. It tasted more delicious when you ate it with everyone in the hot summer. The violin meant it a part of itself. Is it getting darker? Or is it just so dark compared to the beach? Oh, jeez. I might run out of space on my PC before I finish this, to be honest. And I'm worried about that. It's such a longer game than I thought it would be. Looks like everyone fell asleep. I guess it's just us three now. Everyone must be feeling sleepy after such a big meal. Thank you for cooking for all of us, you know? Well, I was nothing. Just practicing a little. Glad you liked it. One day you're going to be a world-famous chef, and you're going to cook me lots of yummy food. Oh, that's painful. Huh? Wait, I am? Of course you are. I believe in you, hero. Well, if you say so. Glad you're using your camera more now, Basil. You seem to be enjoying your new hobby. Yeah, guess it's pretty fun when you get the hang of it. Wait a sec. There's something strange in this photo. <laughs> Hector, how could you? Doing a big poopus. <laughs> you remember the smell of dog poop. <laughs> it smelled more fun when you smelled it with friends. I've eaten watermelon. The other half is in everyone's stomachs. Hey, Sonny took a photo of everyone earlier. Want to see? <laughs> this could have been such a good shot, but Hector had to ruin the photo with his poop. Maybe I can cover it up with tape later. Oh, hey, little brother. Sorry, did we wake you? It looks so peaceful. Reminds me of when you were a baby. Hey, Sonny, can I poke your brain? I love cooking, and Mari says I'm really good, but my parents wanted me to become a doctor. Should I become a chef? Yeah. Haha, <laughs> maybe. Still young, we should dream big, right? <laughs> but yeah, Mom's gonna have something to say about that. What should I do? Snore, snore, snore. Hero, make sure that Kel finishes his food. Mari's cookies. It's the stature. Bark, bark, says Hector. I love whenever you get to a dog in an RPG or anything with a written media and they write. Is there a noise that plays when you walk over that? It's kind of funny. If that's the case. And they write bark in letters as though the dog is just saying bark, bark, you know? Yes. You remembered the feeling of sleeping in Mari's lap. Aww. I feel more comfortable because you knew no matter what, Mari would keep you safe. I'm going to... Mm. Oop, this side again. So, something interesting here. Omori is remembering Mari as just this, you know, nice girl on a on a picnic blanket. But he's not making any new memories with her. Just it's Mari and she's on a picnic blanket. Hey Sonny, hey Basil. Took you guys so long. Sorry, got carried away. Playing this new game we fight each other. Things called pet rocks. Basil, Basil, take a picture of my new raincoat. Okay, one sec. Do you like it, Sonny? It's my favorite color. Pink. Ew, pink's a gross color. No, it's not, Kel. You're a gross color. Doesn't even make any sense. Oh, Sonny, that reminds me. Right now we're talking about dyeing our hair together. She's gonna dye her hair purple. Purple? Want to know what color I chose? Wait, saying you want to dye your hair pink? Yeah, that's weird. Why'd you ever do that? I don't know. I just thought it'd be cute. Or I think so, too. Is that why she has purple hair in the dream world? I'll never understand you two and your crazy ideas. I think people could look good on you, Aubrey. What do you think, Sonny? Yes. 
Sonny says he thinks pink's a great color. See? Basil and Sonny agree. You're the one who's weird, Cal. Pshaw. Whatever. Pet rocks? Hmm, maybe I should get into it. I don't know. Why don't we go to Hobbies and check if they have any new stuff? One day I'll dye my hair pink. But maybe not anytime soon. My dad's kind of strict. Your dad isn't there in the future. Yep. <laughs> Do I maybe sense a little crush? Ooh. Heh <laughs> don't worry. My lips are sealed. Oh, you going on ahead? Don't worry about us. We'll, cap we'll catch up in a minute. So I guess that's why Mari has purple hair. Because obviously everything is drawn in the like lurid pastel colors and stuff. Falling rain as you hit as it hits your umbrella. It sounded more calming knowing you were standing next to your best friends. The violin mended a part of itself. So we're we gonna do six. Cause that's rule of three twice, but also that's how many friends we have. Cause we got the party, we got Basil, we got Mari. Yes, o Omori and Sunny aren't making any new memories with Mari. They're just letting her stay stagnant on a picnic blanket. Are you sure you don't want to be in the photo, Sunny? Sunny's a bit camera shy. We all have those days, don't we? But with this, he's having good memories, you know? It's okay, Sunny. You'll get used to it soon enough. <laughs> wow, this cake looks amazing. You've really outdone yourself this time, Hero. Yay, thanks, Hero. I love strawberries. Oh, he's cute. Bezel, Bezel, what wish are you going to make? Can't ask that, Aubrey. Or else it won't come true. Huh? Is that how it works? In that case, I wish that Kel would get straight A's in school. You can't do that. <laughs> hmm, a wish? Ah, uh, but what should I wish for? I have everything I could want right here. I know. <laughs> I think I'll wish for... Whisper, whisper. Just kidding. It's a secret. Aw, I want to know, though. Guys, if you don't hurry, the candles are going to melt. We all ready to sing? You bet. Start us off, Mari? Sure thing. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Basil. Happy birthday to you. Woohoo! Blow your candles, Basil. Make a wish. And tell me. But yeah, whereas, like, at the same time, Sunny has not been able to remember or enjoy these photos. Because you remembered Basil's smiles. He was going to blow his birthday candles. Aww. But you also remember, as Basil made his wish, you made one too. At that time, you wished for everyone to be happy. <sighs> Violin meant a part of itself. So yeah, it looks like we're going to do... Ooh, it's snowing now. Six. It looks like every like part is centered on a different person as well. Kind of. Or maybe it's Ash. And that's an interesting thing, because like if you block out all the memories of someone because of something traumatic related to them, you will never remember the good memories with them. Wow, a new basketball. Thanks, bro. No problem, Kel. You can thank me by doing a little better in school. Uh, you bet. Okay, Sonny, time for you to open up your present. So you get just one present from all of us. Oh, it's Christmas. Probably doesn't look like much, but we all had to save up for it together. Yeah, me and Basil even started selling cookies and lemonade in the summer. And Mar and I took a job at the bakery for a while, if you remember. And me, I had delivered newspapers for every morning for like three months. And you know how much I hate mornings. This might be a lot of pressure, but it's been a while since you quit playing the violin. Mari told us about how you always sit in your room with her when she's practicing the piano. And there was that one time I caught you trying to play your old mini violin, even though it was too small for you. This was Basil's idea. But we all decided to pitch in for a really nice one, so yeah. I hope you like it. It's from all of us to you. Yeah, I wonder what could be in this violin-shaped package. Oh, and that was the violin that got broke, too. But it's fixed now. Oh, they all have ugly Christmas sweaters. <laughs> Look at Mari's. It's got a little Emma. It's so cute. And he has an H, even though that isn't his name. And Kel's is so ugly, and Mari's is... Like, Mari's and Heroes are so normal, and Sunny's isn't even a Christmas sweater, it's just a regular red sweater. <laughs> Aubrey's sweater has these awful zigzags. <laughs> oh, those are great. It's your very own violin. I hope you like it, Sunny. Go on and try it out. 
Oh, it's a big boy violin. Felt the tingling in your fingers, as if on your own, your body ready the violin to play. Oh, that's really good. Man. I hope you all appreciate getting to see a large, fat, mustachioed beard man crying over a video game. You remember the anxious feeling in your heart as you played the first note on your new violin. That it scared you, but you didn't mind, because they believed in you. And no matter what, you didn't want to disappoint them, because they were your friends. The violin regained its shape. So it was broken, but now it's fixed through magic, I guess. You remembered? Okay, yeah, so these are all six of them. Back together. I'm good. I'm cool. I'm cool. Oh, crap. It's the recital. I mean, this is fine, right? I've uploaded full streams of this channel. Sunny. Oh! You're finally here. After this point, it's going to be up to you. You know, before we met, I had a lot of, little, a lot of trouble fitting in. Even after we all became friends, I always assumed you were going to leave me eventually. But when the others were busy doing things, you always seemed to have time for me. You would listen to me talk for hours and hours. I could always rely on you to do that. Oh, so Sonny's a good listener, not just for Basil. Well, that's cute. I know we've missed out on each other for the past few years, but it doesn't have to stay that way. People always tell me that I'm dense or I'm kind of careless. <laughs> God damn it. Meanwhile, my real world best friend's intruding with his fucking Mega Mans. I'll always be here for you if you're okay with that. It's the hazard of playing games on Steam and not turning your shit off, I guess. Sonny. We know you're not someone who likes to take the lead. This has been really hard for you. Oh my god. Sunny doesn't like to take the lead, so Omori is always the party leader. Because Omori is what has a lot of what Sunny is not in him. But you have to put a little trust in us, too. Just because you've done something bad doesn't make you bad. You've had to live with this pain for so long, and you've been keeping it all inside. It might be easier to ignore your problems, but it's okay to cry about them, too. There's more good times to come. Life gets better. And you can be the one to make that happen. <laughs> Whatever happens next is going to be your call. We're here for you because you want us to be. And we really hope this isn't goodbye. No matter how far you push your feelings down, they come back somehow. And what do you do with those feelings? That will be your truth. Hey, Sonny, break a leg, all right? Whatever you end up choosing, we will always want what's best for you. Keep us in your thoughts. We'll be cheering you on. You can do this, Sonny. I promise to stick with you to the very end. Yeah, I think we'll always be best friends. That's okay with you too, right? Shit, man. Yep. Let's get in one last save, huh? Backstage, huh? This is the recital we never got, huh? We believe in you, Sonny. Empty music stand. Yes. Place the sheet music onto the stand. Stage is ready for you. I know that you could hit no there, but honestly, I don't even care to find out what happens if you do. <sighs> Gotta have fluids when you cry, man. Otherwise you will shrivel. Getting water all my glasses. Look like such a. <sighs> yep. That's the song. <sighs> the 
That's the menu song. That was the song they wanted to play all this time. Bumbo Cat, you motherfucker. Oh, we're here. In white space, I guess. Not exactly sure where to head. Oh, it's almost midnight. I'm going to sleep good tonight, man. I always sleep good after like a really good cry. I think it's just because my eyes want to be shut after I cry. And, um... Oh, there we go. Hey, motherfucker. We have a boss fight we need to catch up on. <laughs> yep. Somehow I kind of knew. Omori was going to be the last boss fight. Encore. Cherish. Heal your wounds and come back stronger. Oh, he's hitting with a, 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 a violin thingy. A stringy. Probably should have used this sooner. Okay, I'll heal myself right after this because otherwise I'll die. Cherish. Heal your wounds, come back stronger. <sighs> Cal's words. Friends. Friends are supposed to be there for each other. <laughs> Amori did not succumb. Oh, of course, because he always has persist up. But also, he doesn't want to go away. You've caused so much suffering, yet you do nothing. And so you've earned nothing in return. Mori erases it. It's the little red hands! The little mice hands! I'm very glad that the last episode, the episode previous to this one was not the last. Because holy crap, man, if that one had been the last episode, we would be sitting here at a three-hour recording. Aubrey's wish. I hope you can find some peace. Or, you know, some happiness. I remember it. It's getting more red. God, so if you... If you rush through this game, like, not relying on Omori to do your fighting, your friends will never forgive you. Shut up, they will. They'll abandon you like you did them. That's what you deserve. That is what I deserve, but they won't do that. Mori did not succumb. Yep. Kind of figured that the throne of red hands would return. You tell yourself you don't want to burden others, but the truth is you're selfish. You don't want people, you just don't want people to depend on you. Yep, there's the hands. Oh, even those are the hands. It's all the hands. It's always been hands. Hero's promise. 
Last time we made the mistake of leaving each other when we needed each other the most. This time we'll stay together. When do you think about others? How long are you going to let people take care of you? You say you care, but you're a liar. You've never done anything for anyone else. You're useless. Less than useless. You're sick. Nah, man. You're not getting to me. People like you don't deserve to live. I took a little I took a little break to buff up, but I'm back to kick your ass. Me. Mori did not succumb. Like Oh my god. For so long, those words have been this, like, awesome, like, you know, like, yeah, Omori didn't succumb. He tanked it out. He managed to survive the boss fight, you know? Your friends are wrong about you. The person they love isn't you at all. You let them believe in a lie to protect yourself. Um... Okay, cool. One moment, everyone. Hey, we're back. You remembered Basil's hope. Maybe one day, things can go back to the way they were before. You're nothing but a liar. And when they see the truth, they'll hate you as much as you hate yourself. Nah, man, shut up. So he's been debuffing me, but he's also been getting um, weaker and weaker as the fight goes on. Like, one of his attacks did, like, four damage to me. If they know the truth, you'll never be able to regain their trust. No matter what you do, it will be hopeless. All you'll do is make things worse. It would be better to just die. It would be easier to just die. Not necessarily better. You know, I'm not even gonna hedge my bet there. It would not be better. It would be better to just die. Charge up. Alright. Gonna be able to use a, uh, a heal on me. Well, let's try this, huh? There we go. So maybe I should have been saving the full heals for this part of the fight, huh? I want to make sure. You're going to die, you motherfucker. Next phase of the fight. Amori did not succumb. Will not succumb. Okay. That changes things a little bit. Hopefully he doesn't kill me on this turn, because I really wanna I really wanna get this damage in. You killed Mari. His eyes are getting blacked out, like in like in the mirror. She loved you and you killed her. <laughs> well. Uh hey, so I just hit continue and it booted me here. Are you supposed to lose? Oh, that animation, though. <laughs> oh, you motherfucker. Get him, boy. Play. Yeah, I literally just hit, do you want to try again? And I noticed that the screen looked a little different. But then when I, when I hit continue, it just booted me right there. 
there we are. That's us. Oh, he's such a fat baby. <laughs> he's such a fat boy. They share beds when they can't sleep. Mari makes friends with Hero. He's got a he's got a cool brother the same age as Sunny. Find this weird girl who lost her shoe. Weird girl finds weird boy. Those are all the those are all the things. Playing a duet. Oh, it's Mr. Plant Egg. Oh, they're sharing the book. And there's the swing set. And there's the big picnic. And Mari saving Sunny. Finally got the recital. <sighs> She's the white egret. I always thought it was Basil. That's the thing about aggression. It is not infinite. Only love is. Aggression just burns itself out at some point, you know? Oh, I'm so gross. Uh, you can see the big... Gross tear goo under from underneath my glasses. Upstairs. <sighs> Tears are fine. They're good for laundry. Oh, God. Yeah, me too, Sonny. Me too, boy. So is Sunny like alone in white space now? I assume like seeing Omori fading away is like. Oh, wow. So that happened, huh? That's got to be a pain in the ass for someone who's moving. Like. Hi, Mrs. Sunny. Um. So, uh, while you were out of town, um. Your son was stabbed in the eye <laughs> uh, and is currently in critical condition at the hospital. Oh, man. <laughs> Here we are. All right, dust off. Keep it going. Ugh, I'm a big, strong man. I once carried a 60 pound bag back from a Walmart for like 30 minutes in the rain flowers from Kel and Hero's family and Aubrey sending a little get well sunshine we miss you Sonny flowers from Charlene's family dear Sonny thank you for your help during the summer warm wishes for a speedy recovery shopkeep yo Sonny sending healthy vibes always welcome to hobbies Kim and Vance's mom get well soon please get to know Kim and Vance they sh fuck hit my mic they need a good role model like you. Nothing but static. Get well, Dev, some Daphne and Bowen. Partake in this bread and regain strength. Then play with us again. <sighs> and then a uh, get well soon. We'll be waiting for a rematch. 
Table lamp. Oh, it's the mirror. Man. You see a little Twitter femboy with an eye patch, you know some shit happened. Very comfortable bed. But now's not the time to sleep. Empty bed. Hi, dear. I texted you. Oh, thank you. I'm sure the audience is well aware of my thoughts on water. Thank you for the water, dear. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm good. I'm a big, strong man. I can do this. I hope my wife can't hear me be like, I'm a big man. I'm a big man. I'm not afraid of anything. I mean, God, she's going to watch these videos. Oh, no. She's going to watch these. Ah. Uh. Hey. They uh they got the purple hair. Stranger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my wife's probably going to watch these videos. You know, I say that as though I'm telling people, but like the reason I say it like this is because other people will probably see this before she does. But to my wife, who's definitely watching, I can tell you're probably going to call me as you're watching or right afterwards. Don't worry, I'm fine. For reference, uh, Sarah, this is the day where you were studying for that big test. Yep, yeah, there goes Basil. We had that nice Saturday together, but we had accidentally spent too much time together and cut into your study time. So you try to study all day. And then I think you watched them with your brother, and we also watched the Markiplier together. And I used stew beef to make a uh, taco, uh, to make tacos. Where am I going, man? <sighs> Back to my room? Man, it must be easy to like be Christian or want to get Christian symbolism going. To be Christian and want symbolism or... Oh, it's the brat, right? Where am I going, fam? Oh, of course. Oh, maybe this is the wrong thing. I'm really curious as to what happened in the real world. Because, like, I've already talked about Off a lot, but Off's third act has a lot of weird, weird stuff happening. He shakes his head no. Okay. Um, yeah, Off's third act is almost entirely allegorical and cannot be taken literally. Otherwise, the game doesn't actually make sense. Anyway, I had a thought earlier. The reason that it must be easy to be Christian and want symbolism and get it is because you can just put a cross anywhere. Bam, you're symbolic. Anyway. Um... Be it, considering that half of this game takes place in the dream world anyway. I know where Basil is. This is his room. Because this area lines up to the map of the real world of the neighborhood. So Sunny's in the middle left. Or left middle. 
and Basil's in the middle bottom. Hey guys, we've got some catching up to do. Drink the wife water. I have to tell you something. <laughs> oh, you can sing along. Oh yeah, and these were all the programmers in the in the in the dev room with all the tombstones we found last episode. Oh. Slime girls. Slime girls. Slime girls recently, well, semi recently, a couple of months ago by now. But um, slime girls got into some stuff that uh, I don't even want to get into in this video. Um, but you should go to slime girls Twitter and check it out. It's problematic, but they've shown uh, in like uh, extreme signs of changed behavior. Fallen Angel Olivia. Uh, learn about that while I was just googling slime girls to see what they've been up to recently besides this game. Oh god! One moment. Let me just. Oh, Toby Fox did the jukebox music. Space Boyfriend original concept. Good morning. And many others. Oh. Wow. Special thanks to me. One more day. <sighs> Thank you for making it, Omocat. And the rest of the team that we saw in the credits. However, there are too many of them for me to remember their name. And Omocat was the original creator of Omori. I said it was not in this form. It was just about Omori in white space playing Game Boy. <sighs> oh, and there's all the flowers in the book and the cactus. And then it tells me that I've unlocked proud mode or critical mode. <laughs> All right, let's look up the endings. Do to do to do do to do. You're free to click off the video now, by the way, but um All right. Let me small this down. Here, we'll put it here. I'll scoop my face over. <sighs> Roots. Okay. Sunny Route's the main path of the game, answering all knocks on the door, participating in faraway segments of gameplay. Two endings can be attained in this route, with variations depending on minor choices. Fighting Basil after waking up in Basil's house. After they fight, they're both sent out and sent to the hospital, knocked out and sent to the hospital. While unconscious, Sunny meets Omori in white space and battles him for control one last time. It is impossible to win against Omori. Okay. After you after you get overpowered, um some other stuff happens. Uh, after you get overpowered, you get a unique game over screen. Yeah, we got that. I want to make that a little bigger, sorry. Uh if you choose to continue after dying, the fight continues. Sunny's attacks will be replaced with play and you finally get to do the duo with Mori. Plan to be for another set. Yeah, yeah. Omori loses the 
battle for control and disappears. Wakes up in the hospital and begins to cry, getting up in a room surrounded by flowers, by the townsfolk. This must have been, yeah, this is us. Uh, ghostly apparitions of Headspace and Basil's shadow. Okay, yeah, so Stranger is Basil. It's nice to have confirmation is all. Pursuing his friends leads to a dead end. Uh, Basil's shadow leads you to his room. Sunny stands in the doorway before Basil and his friends, finally being able to tell them the truth. Credits rolls a view of scenery rushing by from Sunny's car, overlaid by credits. And then, yeah, someone told me about this. If you water the flowers, um, you get a bonus cutscene of the somethings disappearing, which is just kind of nice. If you do not continue after dying, Omori wins control. Sunny wakes up in the hospital and walks to the roof. Only option to jump off. Sunny plummet. Jesus Christ. That's awful. That's so bad. All right, neutral endings. Sleep once as Sunny awakens in Basil House. Uh, you enter white space as Amori. Door to the neighbor's room will not appear. Stab. Basil will always die in the neutral endings. So yeah, neighbor's room is this, if you recall. And it's the... Um, uh, this is this is the tree house. And you can even see the tree there. And that's like, these are the fake plants that they made. There's the TV. It's just ads. Don't mind that. I w I'm opening this because I want to read it later, but we'll get to that. I'll get to that on my own. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Does not affect the endings. If you go back to Stephen Basil's house, wake him once more to find his friends and Paul in the hallway to start over Basil's suicide. Opening the door reveals his corpse slumped against the wall with a large hole in the abdomen represented by the something. Only option is to return home. Upon doing so, a bloody and mutilated version of Sonny stands atop the stairs. And in the room reveals a black mark over the bed. Game will play out depending on if Sonny picks up the knife or not before going to sleep. If you pick up the knife, using the stab option in white space as Omori will cause the resulting effects to physical body. Sunny's answering machine rings as he lays on his bed, clutching a knife to his bleeding chest. Credits roll while the answering machine rings uncontinued. Ringing continues. If he goes home and sleeps, he will wake in the morning with movers to his house. He will be followed by something as he enters his mom's car. Distant sirens can be heard as the credits roll. Oh, man. Yep, Mari's hair and I. So yeah, they both got like traumatized, like snap traumatized by it. Black space photo album. So yeah, Basil something, something in the dark, something on the wall, something in the water. This thing is called Dorothy. Is it a pun on deer? Nancy and Sally. Something has been a long unnamed being. A file depicting something will appear in your computer storage as if it's been with you, the player, until you complete the true route. Which I think I did, right? And then someone told me about this as well. Hikiko Omori route, aka Omori route. Alternative pathway unlocked by having Sonny refuse to answer the front door and having him remain in the house all three days. 408 Town is replaced doing chores. Uh, details are changed, including additional areas, new bosses and enemies, a boss rush mode, extra cutscenes. Oh, so you kind of get a hard mode if you do that. A soft reset of the dream world, allowing Basil to be saved from black space. Saving Basil will cause him to appear at all picnics with Mari. The only possible endings are the two that can be obtained with the two neutral routes. Okay. So, but you can reset dream world. Uh, and then I need to find out if the slime girls are okay. I have to. All right. Is 
inevitably eaten by Humphrey, presumably killed in the process. Fuck. Oh, however, the Hikikomori route reveals that the three of them survive getting eaten, but reduced to mere heads, lacking their... God damn it. Lacking their bodies. If Amori and the party revisit Humphrey after resetting the dream world upon saving Basil, the Slime Girls can offer optional side quests involving the latter collecting materials from enemies to recreate their bodies. Interesting. Okay, so they are alive. I I guess, though, their survival doesn't matter considering that all of Headspace is not good for Omori. Like, all of it is bad for Sunny. They are very cute, though, I will say. Um. Wow, yeah, I guess there's a lot of stuff hidden in the Hikikomori route. Um, wowzers. Um, <sighs> well, everyone, that has finally been Omori. I am glad that I decided to make this its own episode because it would have been three hours otherwise. And granted, it is two and 20, but... Still, it would have been longer if not for this. So I will cut the episode now. <sighs> and I can relax. Because um, I think that's every video in April as well, so I'm good to go. Um, this is going in my weird RPGs playlist, where Hylex already sits. Um, watching that playlist back-to-back, -back, as you may be doing, in fact, will have you watch Hylex and Omori... But I'm going to put some other ones in there as well. Off, I'm definitely going to play off. I've already recorded it, and it's just going to go up later this year. Secret. Um, so yes, I've played off. Um, I've beaten off, in fact. <laughs> the game called Off. Um, I'm definitely going to play Hylix 2. I might play some other RPG pixel horrors, but some of those are not really RPGs. This game has leveling, a party, enemies, boss fights... Equipment, statistics. A lot of RPG pixel horror games are just horror games that are made in RPG Maker and do not actually feature any RPG mechanics at all. Um, so those would not go in weird RPGs. But other things will. Um, so yeah. For the last time, in Omori at least, uh, I've been Alfred. And this was Omori, and this was Sunny. Um, if you were just watching this just for Omori, that's fine. It would be nice if you watched more. I enjoy entertaining. Um, but yeah, if you if you're done, I'm done. I'm uh, I'm gonna go to bed, but I'm gonna make more videos tomorrow. <laughs> um. Or maybe a few days after that, after I recover some more. But until then, uh, I will still be Alfred. And, I'll, and I will be for quite a while longer, in fact. Alfred, short for Elfredric. This has been Omori. Not in its entirety. Hikikomori route is completely different. The neutral routes are slightly different, with sadder, worse endings. And then there's a different variety of the true ending, which is just the bad version of the true ending. But this has been the main path of Omori. Um, so I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Bye.